Hey, what's going on, players? One and two, Spider Nerd checking in. Uh, so, to continue my uh, Funko Pop reviews today, I'd like to introduce a giant call out to the 1990s, uh, back when um, Disney ruled the animation world uh, instead of just the animation world, as well as um, big box office hits like Marvel and Star Wars. Um, Back in the 1990s, they had a huge uh, syndication of shows. Uh, Gummy Bears, Darkwing Duck, DuckTales, the list goes on. Uh, this one actually is uh, from Doug. Um, I don't have uh, Doug, Porkchop, Patty Mayonnaise from the uh, Funko Pop line because I don't like the humanoid pops too much. They j I love the weird ones. If they're not weird... I'm not really going to grab them um, unless they really uh, call out to me. But this one, Quail Man, absolutely did. Uh, Quail Man is the alternate ego of Doug. Basically, he started off as a sketch in his sketchbook, and he would always use his imagination as Quail Man to escape his uh, troubles, his world, um, <clears throat> to finally talk to Patty Mayonnaise. Uh, and rescue her from the plight and uh, uh, evils of the world. Um, I didn't quite know his uh, call up until my uh, girlfriend brought it up to me. Uh, so forgive me, but I believe it goes something like this. And I would absolutely recommend checking it out on YouTube. They, I, I actually, when I got it, I looked up a whole bunch of clips uh, uh, for Doug and uh, Quail Man. And it just brought in a whole flood of memories. Um, so I'm, I was super excited when Hot Topic came out with Quail Man. And you really can't have a superhero without a sidekick. <clears throat> Quail Dog. So this is Porkchop's ar alternate ego. Um, uh, best friend and sidekick of Doug Funny slash Quail Man. Um, but what I'd really like to do is kind of show you what makes Quail Man so special. As you can see from the uh, art box design, he has a belt for a head that kind of resembles that little uh, head design of uh, quails. That little feather that thing bobs up and down. Um, right here, you have, uh, it is going to be a towel. I'll show you a little bit more in detail if you can see inside the box there, it's striped. Um, and as you can see already in the box, he wears his underwear. Uh, on the outside. Only a true hero can. <clears throat> so here are the official uh, pops that were released. Doug Funny, Patty Mayonnaise, and Pork Chop. But what I really wanted to do was actually open up for you guys. Because I... Never really opened this when I picked it up. Uh, pop down. Um, when I got it, I'm like, all right, I can't wait to display this. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I actually haven't opened this guy up and I haven't shown it off yet. I need to do that. So here is Quail Man. If I can make him stand. There we go. Let me try to get a little bit closer for you guys. There we go. I'm loving this design. Like, absolute call out to the character. Spiky hair, everything. And there is the tell in all of its her heroic glory. His giant cartoon feet and the uh, cargo shorts that were a uh, major staple of the 1990s. And why don't we go ahead and show off Quail Dog while we're at it? That's the one thing that kind of annoys me. Certain pops that um, should have stands don't come with them. The pops that don't really need them um, come with the stands anyway. Uh, I'm glad that certain ones are coming with uh, stands, like the newer models of 2018. But it's just like, ah, I kind of want the stands now, so that way this thing isn't like 
jostled around my desk or anything like that. But here is Quail Dog. I butchered that. <clears throat> but just like Quail Man, he's got the belt, he's got a towel, but he has a uh, a headband or a, a, for eye covering. Oh, cool. Little tuft of hair. That's pork chop has. I really don't know how to hands very well. Sorry. <laughs> but that is Quail Man and Quail Dog in all of their 1990s glory. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.